Okay, we have a good update for Mac users. AV1 support, if you have an M3 Mac, and you can use the gamepad on the web, the web um, page version of GFN. So it's uh, gonna load up some of Watch. It's a new patch. I have a replay code, I've been wanting to watch. So we're gonna check that out and IGN recently did a video promoting GFN. I think it might have been sponsored. And it's, it's nice that the service getting more recognition from mainstream media, meaning it should grow in popularity as well. A lot of people don't really understand what cloud gaming even is which is amazing in 2024, you'd think more people would know what cloud gaming is, how it works, and what are the best ones to use. But most people, either they have a very poor experience with cloud gaming because they've tried one of the worst ones like Xbox cloud gaming, they see the very poor bitrate and they assume all cloud gaming must be like this, or they have a really poor connection and they try cloud gaming, so it gets a really bad reputation. They don't understand that you need to set up your connection properly. So there's some technical hurdles really that are a challenge when it comes to cloud gaming that will never be completely overcome because you'll never completely overcome the hurdle of latency and having to have a stable connection. You'll always need a good connection to use cloud gaming and not everyone is technically competent nowadays. A lot of, um, this might be controversial, but gamers specifically tend to be very low IQ, very unintelligent community. What from what I've noticed is gamers, you try and have a discussion with a gamer on a gaming forum, you'll get the worst possible responses, the worst possible kind of conversations. They don't know how to have a grown up conversation about things. Gamers in general are just really, really dumb nowadays. Uh, and it wasn't always like that. Maybe it was, but I'm just noticing how unintelligent people are these days within the gaming spaces. And so these people have difficulty understanding cloud gaming, which isn't a difficult concept or anything. Just people are really dumb and they think cloud gaming has no value, even though it's massively more better value than buying a console or buying a gaming PC, unless you're trying to play games that are not available on GFN or are not, or you need, um, the best possible latency because you're playing FPS games. Other than that, if you know how to set up your connection, if you have a good ISP as well, it's worth switching provider just for cloud gaming. It's worth switching to a good provider ISP because cloud gaming in, in the long run will save you money, right? Think of it that way. You don't have to buy a gaming laptop or a gaming PC you can put that money towards your broadband ISP. Get a, get yourself onto a fiber to the property broadband package. And yeah, we're at 50% win rate. So I think this kind of goes to show that cloud gaming is viable. We're still at 50% win rate even though we're playing, this was entirely on cloud gaming, all of these 10 hours that I've played. And that kind of shows you that you can, you can do well in cloud gaming, even though people, uh, people assume you can't play FPS. There are a lot of heroes you can play in Overwatch. Oh, I wanted to check out that replay code. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. This is from God Magic, one of the best Ryan players mechanically I've ever seen. Very impressive. 
Very, very impressive. I've seen him do things that I've never seen other players do. Not even Cloudy, not even... Not even the best Rhyme players. He's definitely one of the best out there. So, let's see how many final blows he got. Nice, he got about 12, 13. So, um, this skin is really good as well. I do notice he uses a lot of the third person third person perspective just to scout out the enemy team so he, he can do this right so now he knows they have a, a tracer so he saw that baptiste thanks to his third person view mode he just messed up the escape a bit there but really impressive. This guy just made him. As you can see, though, the quality of GFN is great, really perfect.